In this edition of On the Road, CINTAS Safety Director Rick Gerlach takes Scott Farmer on a personal tour of the new Wash Alley Safety System at location 304 in Grove City, Ohio. This system, considered the most advanced in our industry, is being installed in all automated and semi-automated rental facilities company-wide in the coming months. Scott, I'm really excited to talk to you about our new Wash Alley Safety System. This system that we've invested in as a company really takes safety to a new level in our wash alley. The, the key to the system is the safety computer that's inside this box. It controls everything that goes on inside the wash alley in terms of safety. What it does is when a wash alley operator needs to go into a wash alley, he goes through a sequence of events that essentially sends talks to the safety computer and the safety computer essentially clears the system for him to enter. And the way that works, is that this key that's in, in the master control panel controls what the safety in the, in the wash alley. What happens when the partner wants to go in, he'll push this request to enter button, and then the system at that point says, is it safe for the operator to enter? If it is, he can take this key out, the red key out, put it in this top slot, and turn it. That then allows him to take this green key out, put it in his pocket, and once he does that, he can open the gate. He opens the gate, goes into the wash alley, and does whatever he has to do. While he's in there, no automatic motion will occur. The shuttle won't move, the load chutes won't move, the doors on the washers will not open or close, and that's really the safety challenges that we face in our wash alley, is controlling the automatic movement of the equipment. Rick, let me ask you a couple of quick questions. Sure, there. Scott. First of all, there's three keys here. Yes. If he takes one key out, what are the other two keys for? For other partners who need to go into the wash alley. Let's say the first shift supervisor needs to go in with him as well. Then the procedure is that the second partner is going to go in, also takes a key and puts it in his pocket. This is essentially the equivalent of lockout tagout. So basically, you could look at this panel, and if the red key is in here and there are two keys missing, you'd know that there are two people in there. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Now, you say all uh, hazardous motion will stop when the partners enter the uh, wash alley. What happens to the uh, washers that are in cycle or the dryers that are in cycle? Will they stop too? Great question. The beauty of this system is it allows motion to continue, non-hazardous motion to continue. So as long as the door on the washer is closed, the door on the dryer is closed, the dryers will keep drying and the washers will keep washing. Okay, I got it. What happens if a partner needs to uh, do maintenance on one, one particular machine in there? Well, that's another beauty of the system. We have a special gate that our maintenance partners go through. We call our maintenance access gate. And the system is so sophisticated that we can actually have a maintenance partner in the wash alley doing a major maintenance job on one of the washers or dryers and still have the rest of the wash alley operating because the safety computer monitors the gates and the automatic movement of the equipment. How much training goes into teaching somebody how to use this? System? Well, the whole plant, from the general manager down to the maintenance department, receives extensive training whenever the wash alley safety goes in. Rick, how many of these do we have in place right now? Scott, we've put 20 of them in place so far, and our plans are to install about 106 of these throughout the company. 106? Yep. Did you know Cintas is now on Facebook? Log on to Facebook.com and become a fan. Thanks for joining us for this edition of CentOS TV. See you next time.